back at Goodwill, it's snow apocalypse. People were really worried about the snow. And I think the kids could should have had a snow day from school, but instead they did a two hour late start and Evelyn's school canceled. So it's dad, Ruby and Evelyn at the Goodwill. I had to be out anyway. So I'm like, let's go to Goodwill. There probably won't be a lot of people there. We'll see if we can find some stuff that got left because the regulars didn't show up. You gotta be hardcore. $40, $49, PS2 Slim with two nice controllers. The ice blue one is really good. So Hawaiian shirts, this is just like a polo. I'm not familiar with Yada Golf as a brand, but it doesn't have to be great for 4X new with tag to be worth picking up for $8. It says it was $50 new. And then this one's La La Leva which I'm not familiar with either, but it's 5X and it's a cool shirt. Like I would wear that if I, uh, if I, if I was still in a 5X. For sure. Well, I thought I was recording Franklin. $3.10, it could hang on the wall or it has this stand, that is way cool. Not a lot of um, hard goods recently, like just nothing. Of interest. See, this could be interesting. I can't even quite tell what it is. Five bucks. Still don't know what it is. I think we're going to leave it. But I like bins like this that are full of teeny things because there are 200 somethings in there, and at five bucks, they're pretty cheap each. So if we'd sell for anything, you know. What about some not Nerf guns for five bucks for that one? And this was, oh, seven, but it was brand new. A dollar general. What'd you find, dude? Whose guitar is that? Coco's. Coco's. Articulated lamps. We were just talking about those. That's a real good one. So this is like two pencil holders. This is a Flexo circular magnification lamp at 13, 12. I haven't comped it yet, but I suspect it's worth a fortune. So these are Tri-Pro Imba or TBI Pro Imba V8 gaming headphones. These are not the kind of things that I normally buy, but I do see other people do well with them. These are signed, like it's not like an art. I mean, they are art, but they're not like an artist thing. But they're way cool. And at 310, I think those are amazing. Evelyn, come here. I don't see any games that are exciting. Any of that kind of stuff. Dad, now I don't have to use a broom. Now you don't have to use a broom to be a flying witch? No. Plush, I didn't end up getting this the other day when we were here. Is that the guy from, yes, it is from uh, it's Eddie Murphy, no. Donkey, Madagascar. I That's the stupid movie. I don't have to use the room to have a horsey. Oh, you can just have a horsey. That's called a hobby horse, I think. Who's this mouse? Probably nobody. Whoa, that is not the face I expected. Okay, so the gaming headphones are not worth flipping, even at $1.84. But they are worth giving to one of my boys. This truck, however, has ridiculously high comps, and it comes with one of the trash cans. It's supposed to have two trash cans, but um, even still, I think it's worth 40 plus shipping. And it's going to be a pain to ship, but at, I mean, I think it was two bucks or something. Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn is not really popular anymore, but at $1.84, I can't believe this three-piece canister set, so let's call it six bucks. Some of this kind of stuff can be worth some money. Oh, they've got a 622. If it's from like 2005 or something like that. It's Gemi, so that's a good name brand. 2003, so this guy's a about 12 maybe 15 dollars and a 50 percent sell through rate the lowest priced one is 31 plus shipping on ebay right now 
that you could buy, but at $12, if I undercut the market, I couldn't afford, I wouldn't make money. Okay, so Joey has for us a bag here that's 10 bucks, and it's all kinds, it's just so much stuff. And I'm not gonna stand here and comp every single item or comp much of it, and I don't see anything to establish like, yes, this is worth getting because of the evidence of whatever one, two things are. So I think we're gonna pass on it, but I bet there's money in there. So Coco's guitar is about $30 and a 300% sell-through rate. I haven't looked at this Winnie the Pooh yet, or the Buzz and Woody, um, or the Ray Dunn for that matter. The Ray Dunn is at a 1% sell-through rate. It's literally a thousand listed and a hundred sold. Or 1,300 and 130, but still. My point carries it's a 1% sell-through rate and not worth my time to mess with. It's cool. Okay, so this shirt is made in the U.S. and is large, 544. I'm on the fence on it. Like, it's probably good. And then there's this shirt here that is, I don't know, I think it's kind of worthless. Should I buy this shirt or should I put it back on the rack? It's got some stains on it. <laughs> Oops, it looks like I missed a shirt over here. This one's not vintage, but it's super valuable. So we're going to put it in the cart. Yay! Look at this. You sleeping? Extra large mountain hardware quarter zip. $7.49. $3.10. Evie found a bag full of Disney PVCs. And we'll just lot a bunch. We'll just light them up. Well, there's Luigi, too. So yeah, we'll just light a bunch here. of these up. And these are a dollar and 84 cents. And if a guy had a booth, you could definitely make money on these. But I'll probably try to list them online. Urban Outfitters, 20 bucks a piece. So as a pair, I bet I'd be able to list them for 20 bucks, even free shipping at $4. How about some Merrells in pretty darn nice shape? $15. I don't know about that. So this is what the weather looks like today. Pretty crazy. And then uh, those Merrells, a quick Google image search because I couldn't read the number inside shows that those are on eBay for like $19 plus shipping. So I can't pay that much for them. 310, this round mirror with the extendable arm I think is probably really good. So 544, this Foot Joy lined sweater um forte jersey for 10 bucks i think we already saw the ll bean made in scotland how did i miss that Holy cow. so 167 dollars. i got this table and four chairs for 20 bucks it's just a generic card table with four folding chairs and we need the chairs i don't know what i'm gonna do with the table and four nice black folding chairs all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back at Madden Pop Thrift Headquarters. You just saw me. I think I did surprisingly well at Goodwill today. I Looking at the stuff, I'm like, that stuff all has good value and high sell-through rate, even though I should have gotten that Mountain Hardware quarter zip, but I didn't. My phone was dying. I haven't bought Mountain Hardware in a while, and I didn't want to take a chance on it and have it not be good. But then when I comped it for the video editing, I was like, whoa that's really good. Um, so mountain hardware, even like my, if it had been just a sweatshirt or a full zip, I probably would have gotten it, but I don't really tend to do super well on quarter zips. Uh, we have nine. Yeah. Nine to ship tonight. So let's get it done. Z32. This type of shirt with the, uh, collar, even on the sleeves is called a ringer. This is a single stitch. I picked this up on Whatnot because it's stained to death. But this single stitch one that says Walt Disney Productions and has the early 80s tag on it can sell really high. I picked it up for a for $10 in a lot of stained clothing. And I washed it and it didn't really come out. So I sold it stained for 20 bucks, made my money back, and... Uh, it took a couple weeks to sell, as is. 
Picked up a handful of these gloves for $2.64, obviously. And I picked them up on 9 6 um, And they sold for like eleven fifty free sh plus shipping. And I've got quite a few pairs. And I make 10 bucks every time one sells. Multi-quantity listing. Pretty, pretty good deal. I wish I knew what was going on with the offer system. I wonder if there's a place to look it up. Because the offer... Like, I just accepted a $50 offer on a plush I had listed for $69 that I got at the Everything's a Dollar Sale. So I've had it for six months, and I've got it, and I have a dollar in it. So a $50 offer is great. Um, but it doesn't show up in my waiting for payment, and it do, it's still active on my store, but I know I accepted the offer. And I was like, oh, somebody said that there was the new thing happening where that they stay active until the person pays, and then... I just accepted an offer on a hat, and it does say that it's uh, sold and awaiting payment. So I wish I had any idea what was going on with the accepted offer thing. Another cool vintage shirt that I picked up off of Whatnot Single Stitch. Made in the U.S., really old champion tag here. And uh, going back to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, no big surprise. Pretty cool piece. I think I paid 10 bucks for it like two weeks ago. And it sold for 20 I forgot to bring out... I think was, those two shirts that I bought for 10 and sold for 20 I think I got at the same time in the same show. So that's pretty cool. Uh, sold pretty quick. I forgot to bring out these shoes that I got at the auction the other day. There were only two that were worth anything. I think I paid $20 for the whole lot of all of those little shoes. And I was thinking they were all more like this. This is called Just the Right Shoe, and it's a collectible, like, shoe miniature thing. And there are a lot of those kind of things. Not that I know much about it, obviously, because I paid $20 to get a whole mess of shoes. And most of them were absolute junk, and I put them up for auction for, like, 20 bucks, and I'm not getting any bids. And these two sold for $16.99, I think. $16 free shipping. So they, the good ones don't even cover my cost. So I probably won't be picking up miniature shoe collections. If you've been following me on whatnot, I've uh, rearranged the inside of the house and uh, in so doing raided my collection wall. And so it's pretty bare at the moment. I'm gonna have to rearrange that thing because we got a spot in the house now where I have my nice consoles both working and displayed. Same uh, auction pickup as the uh, as the shoes. I got this Rumple puppy, and he is going to Australia. Uh, the buyer asked me to take him out of the box and flatten the box out so that the box doesn't get damaged in shipping, and I said no. I, I said I don't believe that flattening the box will lessen the chance of it getting damaged in shipping, and. Uh, I don't want to tear the box apart and take a chance of damaging something before it ships. So I will box it securely so that it gets there, or I'll sell it to somebody else. And if it gets damaged in shipping, there it's international eBay will take care of you on it. So um, that's, uh, and they said, okay, as long as you promise to pack it securely. I wasn't going to, you know, I wasn't going to send it in a, a bubble mailer. Paid a dollar and eighty-five cents or something for this little car. Hood opens, trunk opens, both doors open. Cool little model. It's by I don't know how you say that. Maisto. A company that does a lot of model cars. And it's diecast. It's a nice car. I mean, it's not super high end. It's plastic and a lot of the parts, but it's it's a pretty decent little car. And it sold for in a week for twenty dollars free shipping. So I mean it's not huge money. But for a dollar fifty, I'll make ten bucks. Also, the steering wheel actually works. That's pretty cool. So a couple weeks ago, I picked up a sharper image stereo, and it should have been a hundred bucks, but it turned out to not work. And I could have returned it to Goodwill for a store credit, but I just I'm not buying stuff with intent to return it. I'm just I'm not I know buying it that there is a return policy, and then I'm not going to return it. But uh, it didn't work. I listed the remote for $17 and I listed the speakers for something stupid, but eventually they'll probably sell 
or I'll donate them or I'll use them. Who knows? But I've made my money back on a bad buy on just the remote. So these are the shoes. They're sparkly shoes. They say rain with an E on them and they say just the right shoe, both of them. Listed them together for less than the comps were free shipping. Like if they were both, like I think they each sold for like $12 and I put them up for 20 and took a $16 offer. So not great. Um, I could have held out and tried to make more money, but I felt like it was just comping them. I was like, oh, this was a terrible buy. It's not like I could see the name brands on them. And I suspected more of the collection would be that caliber instead of almost all of it being like having Dollar Tree tags on it. While I was inside, I told you guys I accepted an offer on a hat. And while I was inside, the buyer paid for Red Rocks. And it's got this weird, like you basically what you're looking at is the outline of the hat it was sitting on top of. Um, Red Rocks Canyon, which is a good place to see some uh, bands from what I understand. I've never been there. That sold for $9 plus shipping. So the first weekend of October, uh, Spoon River Drive, we went to a church sale. And I found a shirt. It's this shirt, a vintage Wrangler's long tail, dead stock, obviously. Denim shirt. I paid $2 for it. Um, I had it listed for, I think, $69, and I took a $50 offer. I had it listed for $59 and took a $50 offer. Free shipping. Paid $7 for this North Face jacket. I hoped that it would do better, but... Uh, I don't think I comped it in the store. Anyway, it sold for $20 free shipping, $20.50 on an offer. I thought this had a name. I think I put it in the, it's a high vent windbreaker. And normally the ones that have names do reasonably well. Uh, but the uh, yeah, high vent, there it is on the sleeve. But this one just wasn't super valuable. North Face is trending down. Patagonia is actually, Patagonia is still strong, but it's trending down too. Um, I've said that before. Columbia was the big thing when I started. Orvis was a big thing when I started, but they went downhill fast. North Face was the thing that took over. And then North Face went down and Patagonia took over. Patagonia's flatlining plateauing and arcteryx is coming up behind it i can't believe i missed that arcteryx jacket and then somebody saw it was a flash on the camera and whoever uh commented and said hey you missed an arcteryx jacket that was an eagle eye i missed it standing there i had to pause the video and be like oh my gosh i sure did uh so if you missed that in the comments, the video where me and Judah and Levi are at the first Goodwill we go to, I'm looking through the jackets and they're telling me about the vests and we're talking about jackets in general. And I flip by a jacket that's the same color, just like I just flip past it, just like it's nothing that fast. And somebody's like, hey, you missed uh, an Arcturix. And I sure did. So that's 11 items for $341, but I'm only at $141 in sales today because some of this stuff sold last night uh, and counted for yesterday. Uh, but that's where we're at. Thanks for watching. Uh, we did some goodwilling today. We uh, got some really good stuff. We got some really good sales. Thanks for commenting and subscribing, clicking the bell following and all the things that you do. And we'll see you on the next one.